check it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora, and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. And on this channel, we go over all things fragrance. We cover niche perfume houses. We go over layering combos. We talk about dupes and clones of original fragrances, highlight indie perfume brands on the channel, all things fragrance. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos because you never know which fragrance house or perfume topic we're going to cover next. In today's video, we are going over by Reto's Mojave Ghost. So we're doing another side-by-side -side comparison with the original fragrance. I did have just enough for one more wear test from this little sample I got from Scent Split. If you've not heard of Scent Split, <laughs> here they are right here. They have such a wide variety of niche high-end fragrances and you don't have to break the bank to be able to sample them. Um, I ordered, I want to say six or more. I believe there's six in here. Samples, little Byredo samples when we had our Byredo week on the channel. If it is your first time on the channel, I do like to focus on one perfume house or topic at a time, and we've been going over genre perfumes. Now, this is an inspired by Fragrance House, and they create, they have their own original creations as well. In the description, you'll find a link to their, um, the original, the very first video that I did for this house that will show you exactly where and how to get a hold of these gems. <laughs> All right, so... I am not going to lie. I went into this wear test today just with absolutely no faith in uh, genre perfumes here. It's this uh, Mojave Ghost based on my initial wear test of Mojave Ghost. I did the original wear test against Andromeda's Moon's version. And even though Andromeda's Moon's version was sweeter and it had a little more longevity, they were both still very, very close to the skin. It was a whisper of the scent the original fragrance was. So let's get right into this. By Reto's Mojave Ghost. Now this one was released in the year 2014. It is an amber floral fragrance. And this just is such a light fragrance. Um, the notes in here are Sapodilla, Ambrette, Musk Mallow. In the mid, we have Magnolia, Violet, and Sandalwood. In the base, Ambergris and Cedar. Now, cedar, it, the cedar in here is a very soft, woody cedar. Uh, it's not a, a piercing, masculine-type scent to my nose. It's a very clean um, you know, but without going the aquatic route either, it just smells so sweet right off the bat. When this opens up, it starts out just really, really light, like I'm saying, a, a whisper of a scent. <laughs> um, you're almost like, what, did I spray it? Did I not? You know, did I miss? Uh, and then it just it starts to develop a little bit. You can smell the sapodilla in here, I feel, smells like, um, like pears boiling with some cinnamon in there. It has a little bit of a cinnamon nuance, a cinnamon quality to it. Um, you know, just a cooked pear scent. Oh, but it's really, really light. Oh, I'm smelling something else. This is where I put the original fragrance on this side. I am smelling what I combined this with. Now, what did I combine this with? <laughs> like I said, I didn't have much faith in this, so I went ahead and sprayed the original. Um, on this side, I did the genre of perfumes on my left side. We are still here. This is has been wafting at me all day, the genre perfume side. And I went ahead and combined this. I did on my right side the with the original Mojave Ghost, the oil perfumery version. Now this one only goes a couple of hours as well. But I felt, oh, maybe if I layer the oil, it'll it'll clasp onto this oil and uh, make it go a little longer. Um, well, I'm not sure if it was that or this. <laughs> so I layered underneath this scent, Peach Prosecco Macaroon from Bath & Body Works. This has Peach Prosecco, Vanilla Cream, and Macaroon Cookie, and it is cold outside. So I wanted something a little creamy. So to go along with the creaminess of this, the opening to this is very fruity, like I'm saying, so that peach prosecco macaron went perfectly. Um, now, 
pear creme brulee here by Bath and Body Works as well has baked pear, caramelized sugar, and whipped cream. So this one I felt was going to go amazingly and it sure did. I'm so happy I've wear tested this before so that I could, um, you know, try out a combo here. That is what I'm still smelling on my clothes. Yes, I went in pretty heavy with this because I just, I knew that the Mojave Ghost was not going to give me more than a good five hours tops. So this, this stayed with me the entire day on my clothes. On the skin, I have a really light, I have a very light scent, um, you know, just of the whole little concoction going on here but it did only go a good five hours. Now on genre side, oh my gosh, I did not uh, go too heavy with this on this side because I wanted to pay attention to it. And sure enough, it, it I mean, I can still smell it, but that Byredo uh, inspiration here by genre, oh my gosh, the shadows were just here all day long. I could not be happier with this wear test because when I did the wear test for Mojave Ghost, I just fell in love with the scent of it. And I just was like, oh, I'm just so disappointed in the fact that this is such a skin scent that doesn't even give me enjoyability. You know, it doesn't give me a scent bubble. It, it, it just didn't. And so to have been able to experience it now, you know, on a stronger level. Oh yes, I am so, this is up sizable. <laughs> I need a 50, I need a 50 ml here. Oh my gosh, so good. So what do we get in the heart of the wear? I talked about the opening, the differences, what I combined it with. In the heart of the wear, it is just the genre side anyways, very lively, very enjoyable. Um, you know, the sweet, there's a sweet candied violet scent that I get from the original fragrance that I also get in the genre version. Um, I will say that the genre version's violet candied scent is not as sweet as the Andromeda's Moon version that, that we wear tested before on the channel. That one was really, really candied violet sweet. I mean, just to my liking, I read that I prefer the sweetness. And this one was a less uh, candied violet, but it was still there. It was still sweet. It was still enjoyable. I mean, that's a, that's a nice trade-off to be able to have your fragrance, um, you know, to be able to enjoy it. Now, and leave a trail. I believe I was leaving trails today. I really do, because it was really strong. Uh, you know, I, I underestimated uh, this, this fragrance because of my previous wear. Um, so the uh, soft woody tone in the dry down, the violet carries itself all the way down to the dry down, um, you know, in both fragrances. When we get to the dry down of the original fragrance, though, it's it's a whisper. It's it's like, you know, it's there and it reminds me of something else, by the way, which um, it did again. And genre's version does as well. So Victoria's Secret Bear. This shares uh, some qualities. This has some Man Madagascar Mandarin. It has violet and it has, um, or does it have iris? No, I believe it has violet. And it also has uh, Australian sandalwood. So I was all ready to go with my Victoria's Secret Bear rollerball in my purse, just in case I needed to top off my fragrance. And I didn't need to. <laughs> It didn't need to because I was I was able to enjoy the fragrance all day long. Um, I will say that this lasted all day long and probably possibly because of my layering of the oil perfumery with this and of course the base of uh, peach prosecco macaron. It did go longer. It's I mean I still ha I'm not completely without fragrance like my first experience. So the layering definitely did help, but it didn't help you know project or give me uh, as big a scent bubble as the genres version did. Wow, <laughs> I'm I'm blown away. I completely underestimated this. So this is called The Shadows by Genre Perfumes, and they've done an amazing job with the way that it presents itself it goes through all the stages that the original does and 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 you can smell it 
I want to spray this everywhere. This is so, so nice. If you enjoy the scent of Byredo's Mojave Ghost, I 100% recommend John Rose Perfumes version. I mean, goodness, <laughs> it's 12 hours and we're still here. Um, and I just did, I was not expecting that. It, the shadows, I mean, just, they just lurked all day long very enjoyable i loved the scent combo it is really cold i don't know if i've mentioned so i i wanted um i knew that this was a lighter floral fruity scent so i wanted something that was gonna that had some cream in it you know and and that definitely worked so very very good job <laughs> Good job. It was a very beautiful scent day. Totally enjoyed it. Um, I want to do more of this definitely on the channel, which is um, combine things together and do wear tests of, of fragrances that I've already worn so I could put my thoughts and layering combos to the test for you guys because... Um, that that's important <laughs> I can I can just sit here you know and think of things that would go great with this or that but uh, to actually experience them uh, for you guys to also let you guys know what does not go so well because <laughs> I've had some fails in the past would also be helpful I feel and and um, and yeah keep us here in this closet talking about scents Whew, I went on. <laughs> I absolutely loved this, you guys. Just a beautiful fragrant day. I love fragrant days like this. Yes, if um, you guys let me know what has what has been your um, biggest surprise this year? I think that's an interesting topic. That's an interesting question. Um, this is not my only one. I would probably have to think about it. Uh, but this was definitely up there with, hey, no, you know, completely underestimated this. <laughs> um, oh, you know, Killian's Woman in Gold by Genre Perfumes as well kind of got me so like, whoa, I did not know I was going to enjoy that that much. <laughs> uh, which was called Virgo. All right, guys, thank you so much. I gotta run. Uh, that was it for today. Um, you guys have a blessed rest of your day, your night, or your evening, and you stay safe.